Today I have this object, this tool. Okay, it's a ruler, it's a real ruler. Here, what can you see? I can see that this rule has 30 centimeters. Okay, it has 30 centimeters. Guys, one centimeter, one centimeter has 10 millimeters. Okay, 10 millimeters. For example, here you can count, you can count. For example, here, centimeter two until three, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten millimeters. Okay, it's a small quantity. Okay, for example, if I want to measure, if I want to measure the width, the width of this board eraser, I can take my ruler and do it. Just do it. Okay, for example, here we can see that. Uh, its measure is almost almost five centimeters but what happened if i want to measure this marker the width of this marker el ancho of this marker i put it here and i can say that its measure is almost two centimeters but but guys if you know that one centimeter is 10 millimeters you have to count the other millimeters okay one, two, after the one, count with me, after the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven millimeters after the one. So seven millimeters plus 10 is 70 millimeters. The width of this marker is 70 millimeters. Now, let's continue on page 148. Okay, I have this example here, six millimeters, but I want to know how is that in centimeters? So, do you remember the conversion factors? Yes, yes, of course, yes, because we have practiced two ways and with this, three ways, okay? So here, you have to remember, okay, how is one centimeter? You need this information. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters okay this is important okay now the first step to convert is write the number that you want to convert remember the conversion factor in the conversion factor you are going to write here the number the the unit that you want to convert i want to convert centimeters so one centimeter divided into how is one centimeter 10 millimeters in millimeters okay okay guys remember I put it here this because I want to convert this unit this number in centimeters so the first step is cancel the units that are alike the second is write six divided into one centimeter divided into ten okay very good now what are you gonna do multiplication six by one Six centimeter, very good. Divide it into ten. Okay, what happened? Here you have to remember the abbreviation method. Here apart, you are gonna write abbreviation, abbreviation method. Method. This method is a rule. The rule is when you divide in 10, in 100, or in 1,000, you have to remove the quantity of zeros here and on the left and one on the right, okay? Pay attention. Remember, guys, that last week we did this exercise divided in 1,000, but today you are going to divide in 10, okay? So you have to write here... 6 divided in 10. What is the rule? The same quantity that you remove here, you have to remove it here. But Miss Gina, it's just one digit number here, yes? And it's just one zero here. So what are you gonna have to do? If I remove this zero, I have removed this zero, you have to put a comma here and write zero okay but why why because it's just one number and the number is this the number six is bigger than zero 
Okay? So put the, the comma after, after, and write the zero. 0 0.6 divided in 1. Okay, don't go, don't go to, okay, that is division. I, I don't know how to do division, how to make. Don't worry. Because you know the rule of division is when you divide a number with 1, what happens? We get the same number. Okay, it's the same because it's 1. Okay, so the answer, the answer here is 0 0.6 centímetros. Bueno, chicos, ahora en español. Este es el número que yo quiero convertir para centímetros. Quiero saber cuánto es esto en centímetros. Recuerden que esta información es súper importante. Debes saber cuánto es un centímetro, que es igual a 10 milímetros. Entonces, aquí en el primer paso, chicos, vas a escribir el número, ¿verdad?, que quieres convertir. Colocas la, a, el factor de conversión, el factor de conversión, colocas aquí en centímetro entre 10 milímetros, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya sabemos que en el primer, en el primer paso... Estamos cancelando porque las unidades son iguales. En el segundo paso aquí es cuando vas a multiplicar. Cuando ya has cancelado es cuando vas a multiplicar. Entonces, 6 por 1, 6. Lo colocas acá enseguida, automáticamente en el tercer paso es este. 6 centímetros entre 10. Pero aquí es cuando nos vamos aparte y hacemos el método de abreviación. ¿Cuál es el método de abreviación? ¿Se acuerdan que yo coloqué 6? Coloqué 6 entre 10. 6 entre 10. Esta regla dice que aquí si yo elimino la, la misma cantidad que yo elimino aquí de 0, yo debo eliminarlo acá. Pero ¿qué pasa? De que aquí nada más tengo un solo número y acá nada más tengo un, un solo 0. Entonces cuando yo, re, cuando yo quito esto de acá, yo debo colocarle una coma y el 0. ¿Pero por qué? Primero porque no hay un 0, ¿verdad? No vemos 0. Y el número que está aquí es el número 6. El número 6 es mayor que 0. O sea, automáticamente la coma va después, ¿verdad? Después del 6 y coloco el número 0. 0.6 entre 1, ustedes saben la regla en la división, la regla en la división que todo número dividido, ¿verdad? Si yo divido un número entre 1, me va a dar lo mismo. Entonces, en este caso sería 0.6 centímetros.